Earlier, the gunmen sprayed nearby restaurants with bullets, causing many casualties. Others set off bombs outside the national stadium where France were playing Germany. Prosecutors say eight assailants were killed, seven of them suicide bombers. The French president François Hollande has declared a state of emergency and is due to hold a special security meeting early today. Fifteen hundred troops have been deployed to help police in Paris. Mr. Hollande visited the concert hall and had this defiant message for those responsible. We wanted to be here among all those who saw these atrocious things to say that we are going to fight and our fight will be merciless because these terrorists that are capable of such atrocities need to know that they will be confronted by a France that is determined, unified and pulled together. Condemnation of the attacks and expressions of condolence have echoed around the world. The Vatican called for a decisive response to what it called homicidal hatred and mad terrorist violence. President Obama promised France any assistance required. In other news, a second round of talks involving the main external backers of Syria's warring parties is taking place in Vienna today. And the Russian Athletics Federation has been provisionally suspended from international competition. The country has been accused of running a state-sponsored doping operation. BBC News. Hello, you're listening to a special edition of Weekend from the BBC World Service, concentrating on overnight events in Paris. I'm Paul Henley. Now, in the early hours of this morning, President Hollande visited the scene of the Bataclan Concert Hall and promised that France, after nearly 100 people were killed at that venue alone, would, would he said, be ruthless in the fight against terrorists. We wanted to be here among all those who saw these atrocious things to say that we are going to fight and our fight will be merciless because these terrorists that are capable of such atrocities need to know that they will be confronted by a France that is determined, unified and pulled together and a France that will not let itself be overawed even if today it is expressing an infinite amount of emotion at this drama and this tragedy which was an abomination and a barbaric act. President Barack Obama has condemned the attacks and offered U.S. support to France. This is an attack not just on Paris, it's an attack not just on the people of France, uh, but this is an attack on all of humanity and the universal values that we share. Uh, we stand prepared and ready to provide whatever assistance that the government and the people of France need to respond. The newly elected Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau promised that his country would offer all possible assistance. Obviously our hearts and thoughts and prayers go out to our French cousins uh, through this dark and terrible time. And these uh, terrorist attacks are uh, deeply uh, worrying and obviously unsettling to people around the world. Uh, we have offered uh, all of our help and support to the government of France, the people of France at this time. The leaders of Russia, China and Germany have added their condolences about what's happened in Paris. The Vatican, as you might have just heard in the news, has condemned the killings as mad terrorist violence and called for a decisive response to counter the spread of what it called homicidal hatred. Welcome to Marie Billon, uh, live in the studio, London-based French journalist. I know you've been uh, on the media all night since this happened. Thanks for coming to the studio. You've been following social media, uh, finding out how people are trying to trace their relatives. There must have been a storm of phone calls and others. Yes, indeed. Well, on social media, there was a hashtag that basically um, appeared quite rapidly. That was hashtag recherche, so hashtag looking for. And I saw, for example, a mother looking for her daughter who was... Uh, 
16, who was supposed to be in the Bataclan, and she was uh, asking, have you seen, uh, I don't know, I can't remember her first name, have you seen Lola, she's uh, this age, or she looks like that, uh, let me know if, you see, if you've seen her. And uh, people uh, retweeted this kind of, uh, of appeal, or they answered, so this hashtag research has been very, very used. I don't know if it's been, any, if it's been useful uh, anyhow, I'm not sure. Uh, there's been also this other hashtag, which is kind of a, of a show of solidarity, and this is called hashtag porte ouverte, so hashtag open doors. Basically, just after the events have, have happened, I saw one of my colleagues, a uh, French correspondent in London, retweeting someone who was, I think, in the 10th arrondissement, saying, we are running 